Now to the latest on the fallout from the U.S. drone strike that killed the leader of Al Qaeda. The U.S. has warned Americans around the world about potential retaliation. Our senior White House correspondent Mary Bruce has more on the Taliban's reaction. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. Well, the Taliban this morning is weighing how to respond to this strike. You know, since assuming power last year, the government had been hoping for international recognition. But the knowledge now that al Zawahiri was hiding in plain sight and how the Taliban responds to this now is significantly complicating those aspirations. This morning, the Taliban reacting to the U.S. airstrike that killed al Qaeda leader Ayman al Zawahiri. Group representatives says they are investigating what they call the U.S. claim of his death, saying the government and the leadership wasn't aware of what is being claimed, nor any trace there. Outside his home in Kabul, security tight. The balcony where he was killed covered with a tarp. Top leadership is said to be holding lengthy discussions about how to respond. Zawahiri stepped in as al-Qaeda's official leader after the death of founder Osama bin Laden in 2011. Now the next man in line is poised to take his place. The next al-Qaeda leader in line is a fellow by the name of Zayf al-Adl, and he's thought to be in Iran, which is really interesting because that presents uh, further complications in terms of uh, his allegiances, who he works for, why is he in Iran. With the movement's leadership in flux, experts say al-Qaeda is no longer what it once was. The real threat now comes from its splinter groups, newer terrorist organizations that were inspired by them or broke away in the last decade or so, including ISIS. So the threat level from al-Qaeda in this region, Afghanistan and Pakistan, actually is, is quite low, especially compared to other threats. And these are threats from al-Qaeda franchises in Somalia, in Yemen, even a cell of Al-Qaeda in northwest Syria, in parts of sub-Saharan Africa, and so forth. Now, the White House is vowing to stay vigilant and go after Al-Qaeda terrorists amidst concerns that the Taliban in Afghanistan could be harboring others. Robin. All right, Mary, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.